Today, we're playing in the ultimate money-making arena. We're playing in Boost the Bonanza. This is going to be absolutely insane, and I'm going to be using a very interesting strategy. I don't know if this is going to work. We're going to try and go late game. We're going to try and get to around 50 with this guy. So let's just say late game right here. This is an absolutely amazing map, by the way. It is super long. So, yep, and he wants to go late game. Unless he's a traitor, of course, that would be really bad. Uh, but let's bring the farm. So the strategy is we're going to bring the village. I, I know what you're thinking. Why on earth the village? But we have to bring the village because we're going to be using the Supunky and the Supunky does not have camera detection apart from the temple but we're not going to be using the temple we've used the temple an absolute ton of times so today we are going to be going with the village and the tech terrors and we're going to see if it's going to work and oh my god we only have four banana farmers right here okay at least we have four we are going to be able to use them i absolutely hate having to collect the bananas by myself i you know i much prefer just using the farmer the unpaid labor <laughs> to collect them for me anyway let's go for the plantation right there we've got the lightning bolts in case he does decide to send me a bunch of balloons Hopefully he doesn't because I just want to concentrate all of my farming and I don't know why he's using it so early, but that's fine by me. But yeah, as you can see, we're going to have to farm really heavily. Of course, this is the ultimate uh, money making arena. Like I said, you can make so much money because of course everything is double cash. These bananas are giving me $120 and we can also mega boost our defense to get upgrades for free. So we're going to do that with the farms very shortly when I get at least one to the Republic and then we'll have like a fat in round five, which is absolutely insane. Let me get one more uh, plantation right over here there we go uh let's use the lightning now so we don't leak down below 100 please there we go okay we're still 100 lives i'm happy with that here's 133 not that lives really matter because we're going to be going late game and if you leak a balloon late game it's most likely to kill you in one shot because it's probably a mob or a ceramic okay well let's go for let's just carry on farming i mean i don't really mind that we're going to go below 100 lives we just have to be a bit careful when it gets to like below 50 because i really do not want to okay interesting He's actually got the bomb tower. I really, I would not have expected the bomb tower at all to go late game. I, I'm assuming that's his fourth tower. I mean, actually, I've got an amazing fourth tower right here. In fact, I might even use this fourth tower because I really do want the sabotage supply ability so I can slow everything down to half speed. Let's use our last lightning right there. Let's show him that we have the super monkey, guys. I, I don't know if this strategy is going to work because, of course, you normally want to go with the temple with the tons of sacrifices, but today... We are going with all of the tech terrors, and it may not work, but it is going to be a super fun strategy. Okay, yes, the village as well. Okay, absolutely perfect. Let's put the village, uh, I guess let's put it right here. I think that's actually, yeah, let's put it right there. I think that's a good spot for it. It covers so much land right there. Let's just get, let's just get the camera section straight away. Let's get the jungle drums and all the buffs. And I'm not going to go straight for this upgrade because, of course, it is $20,000. Do not want to get that right now. Uh, but let's keep on farming. As you can see, we're only on round seven. And this is why this is the ultimate late game arena and the ultimate money making arena. Because as you can see, it is only round seven. And on round eight, we're probably going to have like five fad trees up. And I haven't even been concentrating on my farming. I could have an entire map full of farms right now, just making an absolute ton of money. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. We're going to try and get to round 50. I think we, well, definitely we're going to be able to get to round 50 if I use the ninja ability and he does survive. I'm I'm not quite sure about his towers, if I'm being honest. Like, seriously, going for the bomb tower, the village, and the farm, he only has one tower left. And I really hope that one tower left is going to be the super monkey because, of course, then you will have the bomb sacrifice for it and you also have the village to buff it as well. Yeah, that's definitely, I, I'm pretty sure... The village is going to be... Actually, no. Maybe the bomb tower is his fourth tower. And there we go. There is the soup monkey. I absolutely knew he had the soup monkey for his fourth tower. Or at least, like, it, he picked it, probably. I knew he would have that because if he didn't, that'd be a really dumb strategy. But let's carry on farming. We're only in round 12. He could go for a rush on the next round with regen rainbows. Actually, he could mega boost because it's mega boost. He could actually mega boost a regen rainbow rush right here into regen ceramics. And normally that rush is absolutely deadly. However, we do have a tech terror right now. We do have a village that I'm, I'm just going to get the MIB because we can. And now I'm going to absolutely start spamming these tech terrors everywhere. And very, very soon... We are going to have an absolutely amazing defense, guys. Like, I don't think anything is going to get past this defense for at least, like, 40 rounds. Like, it is going to be absolutely insane. Also, this village is not in a very nice placement. I'm just going to sell it right now. Please do not go for camos against me right now because I would absolutely die to camos. Let's see if we can fit it, like, right here. Can we put it right there? I mean, that's okay. I think that covers that super monkey as well. I believe that is buffed. Okay, let's get all of these up to Terrors. And, of course, we're only on round 16 right now. We're going to be able to defend it with 
absolute ease for ages. Uh, but it gives us time to spam all of the towers we need. Uh, we're actually... We could go for a couple of energy beacons as well, because actually, does that do something uh, with the ability cooldown? Because of course, the Tech Terra, as you can see, it has this ability, which like is a basically a nuclear bomb of a short radius, which can do absolutely insane damage stuff. Also, oh no, guys, I think Stormface is going, for, uh, I think he's going for the full map temple strategy. I don't know if I'm going to be able to beat that. I mean, to be fair, these temples of his, they are not going to be super powerful because he's not going to have sacrifices on many of them because, of course, he is going to be mega boosting all of his temples up. So, actually, this is going to be an awesome test. Am I going to win with the full map of Tech Terrors plus the Ninja Slowdown, which I was extremely lucky to get, plus the Village Boost? Or is he going to win with basically unlimited temples? Oh my, this is going to be such an insane late game. Guys, stick around. I did not realize it would be this awesome. I did not realize it would be this awesome at all. This is going to be such an amazing late game battle. Uh, I think I will win because I have the ninja to slow everything down. Actually, I should probably... You know what I'm going to do? I haven't shown him that I have the ninja yet. Also, please, can this super monkey fit? There we go, finally. I'm going to hide that I have... The, actually, no, I don't think I can hide it. Can I put one, like, right in the corner right there? I mean, we have enough money. Let me sell this. Let's try and fit a ninja right in the corner so we can't see. Of course, this is going to be hidden from him. So, oh, no. Okay, we can hide one. We've got one ninja in the corner right here with the Sabo. And as you can see, I'm not going to use it just yet, but it will slow everything down to half speed for, I think it's 30 seconds, but don't quote me on that, which is absolutely amazing. And I think we're going to be able to take Stormface down. Unless he goes for a rush against us, of course, I'm not going to rush him. I want to get to round 50, and I think we will with this defense. Um, I, I really think we do have the upper hand. If I didn't have that slowdown ability, I do think I would lose this, but let's let's just see what happens. I mean, we have all of the money in the world, and I have not even been getting that many farms up. Like, seriously, I could have so much more money, but look at my defense right now. This is completely overkill for round 21 right now. Like, what is this? Okay, so we are going to actually get another village right, uh, right up here. There we go. So I do want to see what the monkey town and the energy beacon does. Okay, nearby ability cooldown is reduced by 30%. So that is exactly what we want. I don't... Also, the energy beacon does do extra damage as well. So let's set that to strong just so it can, like, cruise through the CMG layers. Because it actually does do pretty good, like, damage to one singular target. Against also balloons, it's not so good. Uh, and also, I could go for... A, no, actually, no. I take it back. I was going to say I can mega boost the rush against him. But absolutely not. Look at that defense right now. However... Stormface is being a little bit slow getting up all of those sun gods because he doesn't have that much time. Remember, the first CMG, actually, wait, no, yeah, I think the, the first CMG comes out around 43, so he does have to be ready, but that is in 20 rounds time. He is definitely going to be ready in 20 rounds time, and so will I because it, it's not going to take me that long to get all of these super monkeys down, and as you can see, my defense is already looking extremely formidable. In fact, I'm just going to sell all of these farms, and look how much space there is in this map. Not only is this map pretty decently long compared to some of the other maps, it also has so much space for putting towers down. I think it's one of the best maps for that. Also, I think offside is the best map for placing towers. You can definitely get over 100 super monkeys on that map. But we're definitely going to get about, I would say, about 70 Super Monkeys, maybe even 80 Super Monkeys on this map, which is insane. As you can see, also, we do have that ninja hiding down in the corner right there, which is going to be so useful. I can't wait to shock him with that. And let's just get another village, like, right here. I think this is a good spot for it. It covers so many of these Super Monkeys. I'm going to get that to the energy beacon as well. I imagine he is quite surprised that I'm not going for the temple at all, because normally the temple is, is what you want to go for, especially as this Mega Boost. Normally, you go for the temple anyway in Bonanza, but it's even better when you can Mega Boost them all up. But you know what? I'm happy going for the strategy. It may be a dumb strategy, but I'm going for it nonetheless. And again, I was so lucky getting the ninja for my fourth tower. I really think that's got, got us the game in the bag, but I'm not going to speak too soon. I, I've, learned my, I've learned from my mistakes in the past about that. I'm not going to say anything more about who's going to win. We're just going to keep on placing the towers, and eventually we're going to see who gets overcome by the balloons. And I really, really hope... He does not rush us. I just want to see purely how good our defenses are. Well, I believe I finished filling the map with super monkeys. Just look at this. I'm trying to see if there are any hidden spots. Actually, I might show him that I have... Actually, no. You know what? I'm going to completely hide the ninja as my secret weapon. I'm not going to show him I have it at all. I'm going to just buy and resell it in this corner. And he is going to wonder why everything is so slow on my side. And maybe eventually he'll realize I have a secret weapon. Well, we do have over half a million dollars. However, 
That is not enough. Definitely not enough to get all of these to Tech Terra. So my plan is I don't buy the Tech Terra. I get these all up to the Robo Monkey and then I just mega boost them all because I can absolutely do that. Just look at this. I can mega boost every single monkey on the screen right now to a Tech Terra once I got all of the Robo Monkeys up and that is going to save me so much money. In fact, oh no, I accidentally bought one. Look at this. We are actually going down in money so fast. I, I should probably eco. I mean, I have so much money. I can send eco to get this number up because as you can see, I am only have 500 eco every six seconds right now which is definitely definitely not enough money every six seconds it should be if i was ecoing it should be at least 20,000 or like 15,000 right now in bonanza however it's only at a measly 500 so i definitely have to do something about that in fact i might just start sending the pink balloons right now of course i'm not rushing him i'm just sending him balloons so i can make more money and actually you can see he has the bias over here on his side which are the farms that actually give you a set amount of eco every round so his eco right now is probably over 10,000 even though he probably hasn't sent a single balloon over to my side. And you can see how fast my eco is going up right now. We already have over 1,400. Okay, definitely the right play. I definitely need the eco. Uh, however, I might be able to finish all these super monkeys in a couple of minutes. And we're just going to see how good this defense is. Because I don't think anything is going to get past my defense. Well, the rounds have been absolutely flying past. Like, look at this. We're already on round 39. And this is the end of round 39. We're about to go to round 40. And we're only 14 minutes in. I swear, normally it takes a lot longer. I think it's because all of our defense is just absolutely demolishing everything as soon as it comes on the map. And definitely, Stormface is going to get up his amazing defense very, very soon. He does still have a couple of bomb towers because he is hoping to get a couple of those sacrifices with the mega boost which i'm sure he will do but most of his temples are not going to be that strong and of course uh, a temple by its own which is completely vanilla with basically no sacrifices uh, is a tech terror better i i mean a single tech terror with the ability cooldown as well reduced by the village i i have a feeling that the tech terrors will actually be better than the temples like they may not do enough damage or as much damage with the regular plasma but with that ability as well I honestly think we're going to have the upper hand in damage. And of course, we have the secret weapon, which I keep mentioning. I can't wait to show that to him, or at least I won't show it to him. Maybe he'll notice when the ZMG comes out or when we're in trouble. I will use this ability and everything will slow down. And he's just going to wonder what is happening and why it's going so far on his side and why we are absolutely demolishing it. And you can see, actually, we are popping stuff faster than him, even though, oh no, uh oh, that is a lot of like right there. Okay, I have no idea why it's lagging. Hopefully, my internet's okay. That is kind of scary. I mean, there are an absolute ton of balloons on the screen. And, of course, there are a lot of projectiles on the screen as well. Because, like, look at all his sunglasses. He really does need to mega boost them. Because I believe there are significantly less projectiles when you get the temple. Because, as you can see, the sunglasses are shooting out three separate rays of projectiles, I think. But the temple, of course, only sends out a, a couple of those rays. The really, really big circular ones. So, yeah, that actually, that could be a problem I haven't even thought about. There could actually be lag. I really hope it doesn't lag out. Anyway, we're in round 42. We are one round away from the ZMG. And I really want to get all of these Tech Terrors up. So let's keep on getting these. I mean, they're not that expensive to get the Roma Monkeys. Oh, are we going to have it? No, we're not going to. Oh, come on. We are so close to having the money. We are only four Super Monkeys away from mega boosting absolutely everything. And also, we have 7,000 Eco. But there is the ZMG. The round 43 ZMG. Very, very soon, I expect Stormface is going to go for the Mega Boost. But honestly, it's kind of seeming like he's just going to roll with the Sun Gods. Like, what is he doing? He is actually, he is not using the Mega Boost strategy at all. And he definitely has Mega Boost left. In fact, I haven't seen him use a single Mega Boost to boost up his towers. So I don't really know what's happening on his screen. I mean, I'm sure he is going to go for the Mega Boost eventually. But right now, he's just happy cruising along with these Sun Gods. And definitely, with these defense, he is going to be able to go to round 50. Oh, no. He is sending me the smile. That definitely means he is going to Mega Boost. Okay, so let's send the crack. Let's pretend that we think we're going to be absolutely destroyed by his defense. But in reality, we know. There we go. Okay, he is going for the Tower Mega Boost. That is a pretty damn good defense right there. Uh, let's see how actually quickly... Oh, no. I feel so sorry for him. Look at his side right now. I'm actually popping things faster than him. And I haven't got everything up to the tech tower. Okay, I didn't realize it would be that broken. Well, let's go for the mega boost right here. There we go. And look at our side. We have so many tech towers. We have 66 
Tech Terrace right there. Okay, that's definitely not as many as I thought, but we did get a couple of villages on the screen. And just look at this late game. This is absolutely insane. Look at the two sides. Oh my god, I can't believe we're doing temples versus this Tech Terra village strategy. And honestly, okay, there is a CMG. Let's see how easily we both pop it. I'm not going to use any of my Tech Terra abilities. Let's see who just has pure firepower. And actually, it is a lot closer than you would think. Like, I was only maybe a second behind him at max, and I didn't use my abilities. If I used all my abilities, uh, or at least, like, you know, periodically used them, I, I think we're about even. I think we're even with our defenses, but of course, he does not know. We have this secret weapon. I am so happy that we got the ninja for our Okay, I'm just going to use it, guys. I'm going to use it. I'm going to send him a smiley, uh, and then we're going to use our secret weapon, and just look at this. I don't know if he'll notice, but let's throw everything down. We're not going to be too obvious about it. We're just going to use it on a couple of BFBs when we're not really in trouble. I don't know if he's going to notice. If he's paying very close attention, he will definitely notice that. Look at that. If you compare our size, things on my side are going so much slower. Like, look at that ZMG. Oh, my God. Okay, it's, it's sped up now, but it was going so much slower on my side. Also, if you if you guys are enjoying this video, make sure to drop a like and, of course, subscribe because I'm going to make so many more videos like this. Like, it is absolutely super fun to make videos like this. Okay, okay maybe I can fit another ninja in the corner somewhere because, of course, oh, actually, that might be a good spot right there let's go for it right there because we're definitely things are getting close and i don't think he's actually going to be able to see that ninja because it's right in the corner and also you can barely see my side anyway because there's so much stuff going on anyway let's use that right there oh my god we get to slow things down it is so amazing i think he's going to go down before us uh, i'm actually i'm just going to reveal our weapon right now because i'm going to try and find spots where he probably won't be able to see it but i i need to make sure that i have it like at least four or actually no that's pretty hidden right there that's actually really hidden right there okay let's put that right there because there are going to be constant balloons on my screen right now for the rest of the game so i don't really think he's going to see it anyway and now we have three sabos on the screen at once which i don't think he's really going to see it and you can see he is going to pop it and no we popped it quicker than him i don't believe it i didn't even use any abilities right there that's actually crazy also i'm kind of curious about the pop count so that has 5,000. 12,000. Okay, 1,800. How much does the village at? Wait, 15? Oh, I think that's because I said it's... Yeah, I said it's a strong. So, it basically, it does not pop balloons at all. The only thing it's popping is, like, the ZOMG layer and stuff like that. Okay, let's use another Sabo. Also, we do have one MIB village ability to absolutely insanely buff all of my towers, which I will probably need to use. I Actually, I might sell a Tech Terra down here. Like, maybe this one right here, just to get a village. Please, let's say... Oh, no, I can't fit it, guys. I cannot fit it. That's not very good. I really do need to be able to fit it right there because I just sold a Tech Terra. I probably shouldn't have sold that Tech Terra because now I can't find the space because there's so much stuff happening on the screen. That was probably a mistake right there. Okay, well, it's okay. We'll find that spot eventually. Well, we're just going to fit a Ninja there instead. Oh, no, it's getting so far on our side. Oh, my God. I did not realize how far it was getting. Okay, let's use a couple of Tech Terra abilities to clear out these ZMGs because these ZMGs have so much health right now. And as you can see... We are kind of struggling, but to be fair, it is getting very, very far on his side. I reckon another 10 rounds and things are going to absolutely destroy him. But right now, things are not looking too good for me because, of course, the Tech Terror does not have as much pierce as the Temple's Plasma, which is a really big problem for us. We really do need that pierce on our projectiles, and unfortunately, we just don't have it with the Tech Terror. So, he, he, can, do, he can do massive damage to every single balloon on the side, whereas I have to kind of more focus on one target. And also... I still can't see any ninjas on my side. So I, I highly doubt he has seen any of the ninjas on my side. And oh my God, look how far that ZMG is getting. Oh my God, he almost died. Okay, I take it back what I said about 10 rounds. There is no way he is surviving 10 rounds. Of course, he does have the MIB village ability, but I don't think he's surviving much further than that. Like seriously, they're, they're getting so far on his side. Well, he's gone for all of the MIB village abilities and oh my God, that got insanely close. You can see he definitely did a better job at spamming those villages than me. I only have one and then I couldn't even fit another one, but let's fit another ninja there because we can. Or, or can we? No, we can't. Never mind. That's fine. Uh, but let's use another Sabbath right here. Okay, this is a huge round. Look how many ZOMGs are on the screen right now. In fact, I think this is a round where we need to spam all of our abilities because I think this is the round that he dies. I, I don't think he can defend against that. Like, look how many ZOMGs there are. Okay, maybe he's just able to defend this one, but you can see. Wait, no, there's a ZOMG in there. 
Oh my god, that is getting insanely close. And because he's targeting these ones, it's not as much targeting on all of the new balloons that are coming in. And actually, they're going to get it super far on his side. Remember, I need to sabo. I need to remember to sabo because if I don't, we may actually lose this. Also, we have 18 abilities. I'm going to spam all of these. They do. I don't know how much damage they do, but I do feel like they are cleaning up stuff pretty nicely. And now I have enough sabo abilities that I can basically spam them whenever I want. Also, I have not needed to use the MIB village ability at all. Oh, he's used a town. Oh, no. Oh, it's getting so far on my side. Okay. Yeah, we definitely needed those tech tower abilities. They are 100% help right there. Look how many ZMGs are coming in. And yeah, he's getting closer and closer on his side. Every time he spams those village abilities, he does survive. But every single time, it is getting closer and closer on his side. Also, I don't believe the tower mega boost actually does any extra damage for your towers or it buffs them in any way. I mean, I'll, I'll try it. I, I really, no, it doesn't give them a boost. It, it just upgrades them to the next level. But of course, we have max level and everything. And okay, I think he's gone down, guys. I don't think he's going to be able to defend against that. I think we've actually beat him on round 62. What a late game battle. Because I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. Anyway, I will see you in the next one. Peace.